Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I am Baba Masi and I'm back after a long time but with a very helpful video. So first of all, I'm sorry to not upload any video for a while uh, but I promise I'll upload video frequently from now on. Okay, so first of all, uh, today's video is very helpful, very knowledgeable and is good for the people who want to improve their listening practice, their listening skills. So it is also helpful for tourists or the people who will visit India Gate for the very first time because as you can see in the title, today's video is all about India Gate. So I'll be covering up different topics, I'll be covering up different questions about India Gate and uh, will it help you to gain a lot of knowledge about it. Okay, so let's start. The first question, where is it located? The, it is the main question, like, where is India Gate? How can we go there? So, India Gate is located near the Karasavya path in New Delhi, which is on the eastern edge of the ceremonial axis or the duty path. So, it is in New Delhi and is near the Karasavya path. Just remember this for the people who want to visit India Gate. Next question, what is India Gate also known as? So there's another name for India Gate, which is not really very famous, but it is a f the former name of India Gate. So it is formerly known as the All India War Memorial. Okay, so the third question, when was it established? So many people like not don't really know, like when was it established, who established it, why was it established? They just go there, visit it, enjoy and come back. So for the people who actually want to know about it, here it is. When was it established? It was established on 10 February 1921 at 4.30 p.m. by the visiting Duke of Connaught. It was not established by some Indian, instead it was established by a Britisher. So next, why was it built? The main reason why was it built was that it, the monument represents triumph in a battle and is a homage to 70,000 British Indian Army personnel who died in the World War I in France, Flanders, Mesopotamia, Paris, and um, in, the, in the East Africa, and in Gallipoli, and, in, and elsewhere in the Far East and the Near East uh, edges of Asia. Okay, next. Who designed this monument? Like, people don't really know who designed this and who was it made by. So, here it is. It was designed by Sir Edwin Lutyens. Not any Indian. It was a Britisher, Sir Edwin Lutyens. Okay, so he designed this monument and the architectural again represents the Ark of Constantine in Rome and it is also often compared to Arc de Triomphe in Paris and the Gateway of India in Mumbai because the architectural design is very similar to the India Gate and looks very similar like the Arc de Triomphe and the Gateway of India looks a lot similar to India Gate and the Arc of Constantine's architecture, the gate evokes the architectural style of the Arc of Constantine. Okay, so our second last question. What is the speciality of India Gate? So its speciality is the name of the Indian soldiers is inscribed on the walls of India Gate. So we just didn't make it and say that it is a war memorial, but instead the soldiers' name are also inscribed in it. So it shows how much we respected them, res not only respected, but also we respect them now. So their names are, in are engraved on the walls of the India Gate. And though the India Gate was established in 1921, but it was inaugurated by Lord Irwin in 1931, 12 February in 1931. Okay, so our final and the last question. What are some facts about India Gate? The main question is, what are facts about India Gate? So, first fact is that it is one of the largest war graves of the soldiers killed in the First World War. So in the whole world, it is the largest war grave. And the next fact is that the Ark stand on the low base of Red Bharatpur stone 
and rises in sta stages of huge moulding. So it just stands on the low base of red Bharatpur stone and there's no other stone supporting it. And the third fact is that, and okay, so first of all, let me explain the second, the second fact to you, that is the ox stands on the red Bharatpur stone. So actually it was just a stone and Sir Edwin Lutyens designed it that the stone was carved and the designs were made and the names of the soldiers were inscribed on it. So the third fact is the armed forces, the three armed forces of India, their flags are hoisted here and the Republic Day Parade also takes place here every year on 26 January. So look, this was all about India Gate and I hope you got a lot of knowledge from it. Like where is it located and what is India Gate also known as? When was it established? Why was it built? Who designed this? What is its speciality and some facts? So it is also good for the students who are right now learning about India Gate. It can help them in their exams too. So I hope this was helpful for you and I hope you got a knowledge. It was not related to English or something. I just wanted to post a video about some different topic. You know, some crisp, crisp in the topic. Okay, so it was all for today. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, then do hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any suggestions for any topic, do leave it in the comment section below. So I'll see you soon in my next video. And until then, stay safe and keep learning. Goodbye.